A UP University is teaming up with Michigan State University and the DNR to make construction more sustainable. TV6's Houghton Hancock Beer reporter Colin Jackson tells us how the group is using a new technique that could save energy in the construction process. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources is teaming up with both Michigan State University and Michigan Tech. This is to help promote a method of building called mass timber construction. The technique allows larger buildings to be constructed out of engineered wood panels and beams instead of stone and concrete. This relates to our mass timber facility that we are building in Newberry for our new customer service center for the Department of Natural Resources. However, according to Haskill, mass timber is a softwood-based product, not hardwood. The difference there is, is that right now the building codes and all of the structural tests that are done in order to make mass timber possible to be built with, it's all done based on those conifer species. MTU aims to help change this by expanding and promoting the use of hardwoods for mass timber construction in the state. The College of Forest Resources Dean says the goal is to remove obstacles to development. Some of the regulations, sort of the architectural and design specifications that are used when, when engineers and architects choose materials to build. And we're also working on the uh, development of of the panels themselves so that we have prototypes that can be tested. He adds that there are several advantages to using mass timber construction over other building methods. In the manufacturing of the material itself, uh, mass timber has a much uh, lower energy use. It, it sequesters carbon in, that, in the process of building it. It has other uh, acoustic advantages. Trees are a renewable resource, unlike stone and concrete. Flaspolar adds another advantage. Colin Jackson, TV6 News, Houghton.